What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Well, welcome to what is a rather messy unit behind me, but we'll ignore that because what the important thing is, the course it is back on the ramp. It is looking rather unrecognizable at the moment. I did start already stripping some of the body panels off, the side skirts and obviously the wings are off at the moment just to sort of try and make any sort of tracks that I can do in between the videos. So you didn't really miss out too much. So everything is still attached underneath in terms of the front subframe, the lower arms, the struts, the hubs, um, even the engine mounts, the drive shaft still in. So nothing really too interesting has gone on while I've not filmed. Obviously engine is still in the process of being built at the time of the video. Um, and the fuel tank and the rear beam is still in. Because what the plan is now is to take absolutely everything out that we can. So the rear beam's coming out, the fuel tank's coming out, everything's gonna get um, wire wheeled up and cleaned um, and under sealed to try and tackle some of the rust that is starting to form. Because with the Corsa being sat in the corner where the van is at the moment, um, it has surprisingly got even more rust, even though it's stored in a nice dry unit. So like I say, rear beam's coming out, the rear tank is coming out so we can under seal above it. It is going to need some new straps, which will be done at some point. And annoyingly, we did leave the handbrake on when it was sat for the best part of a year. So we've had to take the rear brake pads out just to even push it onto the ramp. So it will be getting two new calipers, even though it had even though it had two new calipers not long before I got it by the looks of it, but because it's been sat for so long and they're relatively cheap, so that'll be getting done. Um, the exhaust has obviously been removed because it was just a standard system with the center res, something a lot more interesting it will be fitted in its place. The fuel lines are all good as well as the brake lines, so they'll be kept in. Um, we'll under seal over the top of them to protect them for the future. Probably replace the standard flexi pipes to the calipers. That's not a brake caliper, that's a caliper, that's a handbrake cable. We'll replace these for braided lines. But of course, even though there is still so much still in the course that new parts never stop being bought. So these were the standard wheels that came with the car with just some cheap land sales on it, even though they have some decent tread. Um, it is not going to be suitable for what we are now building for the car. So we've now upgraded to a set of Team Dynamics 1.2s, which I got these from my mate Jordan from Nevlock, so shout out to him for sorting these out for us. Um, they do have some budget tires on the rear, but obviously we've been front wheel drive. The ones that are important are these. These are some Nankang NS2Rs with some plenty of tread left on them. Um, they are 205 um, 205 40 17s as opposed to the 225s on the standard wheel, so we will lose some width, but hopefully with the stickiness of the NS2Rs, um, it shouldn't be an issue, but if it is, they are 7J rims, so hopefully we can whack some 225s on there and get the width back. So I bet this is going to get annoying. I'm going to find loads of these as I'm stripping the car down, just getting ready, everything off, um, maybe our sensors and stuff, brake lines ready to take this front and frame out. And some technician, I would have thought, at some point, didn't know how to use the locking tab on the ABS sensor and broke it and decided just to tape it up. How many of these do you think we're gonna find? Yep, just as I thought, clip firmly broken, one-handed. No idea what they've done, but they've completely destroyed that plug.
a single buck in sight. So the subframe is out, went a lot smoother than what I was expecting, I'll be honest, but we move. Uh, with the subframe out, just gives us the ability to not only clean up the subframe properly, but the engine bay and the wheel arches as well. It allows us to clean it up properly, get it all under sealed without the, without the strut in, the, in place. Along here, without the subframe there, etc, etc. With the subframe, everything will get stripped off and cleaned or replaced as where necessary. Because obviously with the lower arms and stuff, the bushes have uh, completely collapsed and failed. And trowel end boot split and stuff down there. So everything on this subframe needs looking at or cleaning. And it will get stripped down and all look fresh, ready for when it goes back in again. So everything's been finally stripped out from underneath the Corsa. It's all been stripped and cleaned and painted. The subframe and rear beam are in the car pallet wrapped out of the way. I do have some pictures and videos of the process of it being before, during and after. I didn't really film too much of it because it's not really part of the process that I'm interested in and I just wanted to get it out of the way. The process is still ongoing. As you can see, the Corsa still needs under and cleaning underneath. So here is one of the rear hubs, just on the bench, after being cleaned, primed, um, sprayed with satin black and then lacquered. So very, very well protected um, and looking considerably better than what they were when they came off the car. Same with the front hubs, all the wall wheels in the background, I mean, I went through just to do everything. They look absolutely mega, but the thing that I am most proud of is this steering rack this isn't brand new this is the one that came off the car and it looks fresh well happy with that can't wait to get the new tie rods and trap rods speaking of which if we walk over to the course of b ship box some of the believe it or not small amount of parts that i have waiting to go on the car so a new whole a whole new sorry um trap rod kit boot in a tie rod trap rod and all the clips so that will look like it came straight out of the factory with that freshly painted steering rack um top mounts i went back there uh real wheel bearings uh front and rear abs sensors because obviously quite a lot of them got stuck and broke in the hubs when taking them out I do have a genuine brand new rear crash bar for it absolute bargain that was like 40 quid off ebay and the finest of the fine stance plus coilovers are ready to go on can't show them right now um they are the high line so they did come with brand new drop links as well and some brand new where you go some brand new lower arms which again were really cheap again off ebay um even though i'm changing all the bushings and stuff i'd rather just get some brand new cheap lower arms and then swap out all the bushes and stuff for the power flex handling kit that i've got wait to go on. so like i said about the brand new rear crash bar absolutely buzzing with finding a brand new one because i just finished doing the rear beam and the rear subframe and i absolutely had it up to here with wire wheeling and cleaning stuff up so i thought 
you know what, let's try and see if I can get a brand new one. And I can, after this is pretty rusty and gammy. Um, it's a bit extra, changing the whole crash bar, but considering everything else is gonna be fresh, it's gonna be a bit annoying seeing something with a bit of rust on there. So, get it changed. So the condition of the car isn't too bad. Most of it is just surface rust. Um, stuff like this along here the worst parts were where the um, rear beam was sat um, this wouldn't have lasted for much longer it is still surface rust at the moment but it would have quickly gone downhill it is structurally strong we've made sure um, that it is just surface before carrying on um, but they should all clean up um, same with stuff in the wheel arch um, this side isn't too bad um, but the in a skin and stuff. So everything will get sorted, everything will get cleaned, everything will look fresh. The bit where the tank was sat is basically brand new. Um, shark, because obviously the tank is sat underneath it, protecting it. So all that will just need um, is just under sealing straight on that, so that's pretty straightforward. Um, but the main chassis rails, everything like that, um, are in really good condition. It's all just sort of surface rust around where water would have sat, like in here. Um, underneath where the, the side skirts were. Um. So just a public service announcement. If you're planning on buying some cheap eBay lower arms to upgrade to some PowerFlex bush inserts, don't. Because that's exactly what I did. Found these on eBay, I thought, it doesn't matter if they're cheap, if the bushes are shit, I'm just gonna replace them. So pressed out the bush, no dramas. It was a little bit of a drama, but when I went to go fit it, What is that? And same with that bush. Split the bush as so. So now I'm fucking fuming because I bought some cheap lower arms. I need to buy the ball joints now because we can't cut them off. And now it's a complete waste of time because now We've already pushed the bushes out, but now I need to clean these fucking things up. I don't know what I was expecting, but not that. There's a comparison. Okay, so now on to the anti-roll bar. It's not as simple as just removing it from the car, unbolting it, and splitting this clamp to replace the bush inside it because for some unknown reason GM did a brilliant design where they would clamp them together and then when the the bolt would go through to the captive nut on the other side it would create like a rivet nut effect around just the outside there um, so you can't just simply take it off and split I did see someone where they went a bit over the top of it and just sort of cut cut and was off all you need to do is just either cut or drill through this rivet as you would normally do and then they would split that way or what i'm going to do is because i can't find a drill that takes a big enough drill bit is cut this captive nut off um, and then hammer the rivet through and then we'll either just not unbolt it or we'll weld a new nut on top of it Okay, so the bushes are now out of the anti-roll bar and it is a pretty simple and straightforward job if you have the correct tools, which unfortunately I don't. Um, I was able to just cut the rivets off the front of this to obviously open up the clamp to then put the bush inside. Um, but like I said, because I don't have a drill that's big enough to take the 12 mm drill bit, I did have to step drill the hell out of it. So I will still need to angle grind or cut off this captive nut and re-weld a new one like I have done with this one. But if you do have a drill that's big enough for a 12 mm drill bit, then it will just be a case of drilling out the rivet and then it literally just pop.
Ultra is finally under sealed. Didn't take us too long as what I was expecting, but had the boys on it, so like half the amount of time that it was on it, so big shout out. Oh, fuck, I just fell over. So I will put a little comparison video of what it was beforehand, because it is looking a thousand times better. Um, I can't wait now to put the rest of it in because it's going to look fresh. So under sealed from bumper to bumper. And all the seals as well. It is freaky fresh. So now we're on to putting the coilovers in. Some Stance Plus specials just to get it running out on the road. But they are the Highline spec. Check me out. So got the top mounts on them now. We'll fit them. See how we go. I didn't realise how satisfying this rebuild is going to be. Just rebuilding the steering rack with obviously freshly cleaned, freshly painted with brand new inner track rods, brand new track rod ends, brand new boots, and everything's just going together so smoothly, so satisfying. I just. How smooth everything moves. I know it's busy to be expected. Everything's brand new, but it's going to be so, so worth it at the end. And also, a big milestone. We finally have some suspension back in the Corsa. Still waiting for the undersill to dry, but just put the top mounts on and fitted the struts. And it looks weird seeing suspension back in this, but it makes me so excited. Because when it's all finished, everything's bolted back together. New subframe, well, repainted subframe. Repainted rear beam, basically everything underneath brand new. Um, it, it sort of snowballed, but that is literally the definition of this car. It is just one big snowball, but it is going to be some car at the end.